Good afternoon, YouTube. How you guys doing? Uh, just taking a look at power production for today. Sun's behind the clouds right now, so not going to get a whole lot, but we're getting something. On array one, that's the garage mounted array. It's bought in 15 kilowatts so far. And then I have a secondary array that I just laid out on a uh, one of those new Growada uh, 5000 ES models. Has a 450 volt uh, DC input. So I ran nine panels to it uh, just to see what it would do. And I mean, as of right now, it's because there's no sun available, it's only giving us 473. But if you look, as it started out, it started out strong. Look at these numbers of nine panels. You know, 2,900 watts. I was hoping to see, you know, somewhere around 3,100. But when you're dealing with used panels, you get what you get. I'm going to put another nine in parallel and I should be able to get this up to 6,000. So that'll, that'll be good. So you have the 6,000 coming in on that array. We'll have the... Sixty-eight to sixty-nine hundred coming in on the main garage array. So between the two of them, we'll be looking at doing peak times. You know, eleven thirty a.m. till about let's say four p.m. I should be, you know, in that time window, I should probably be able to bring in 40 to 45, maybe 50 kilowatts just in that time frame. And then the hours before and the hours after, it would be reduced, of course, due to the sun's movement. But we're, we're going to see how we, how we do with this. Now, don't forget, I also have that third array that puts in about, I guess, another 10 to 12 kilowatt hours a day. And it doesn't actually run through any of the inverters. It, it's connected directly to a uh, Outback charge controller. So there's no way I can actually monitor on the computer power usage or power, uh, you know, power input. But, you know, it's 12 to 13 kilowatt hours a day additional. So that's fine. But like I said, the goal's always been to generate enough power to have my batteries full by the time production is over and then for the rest of the you know for the rest of the time you know seven eight o'clock at night going through to the next morning I run off batteries until this process starts all over again so that should be that should be good I can also use this uh, 5,000 watt inverter to uh, run a you know a, a additional loads, I can separate the loads out from the big 12 kilowatt you know, kilowatt beast, and let this one run some of those secondary loads if I want. I can do that. I can also uh, use some of my other batteries that I have. I have about another 30 to 40 kilowatt hours worth of storage. That's all lithium NMC, and I can run those to that other inverter and let them just handle loads by themselves independent of, of the main LifePo 4 battery pack that I have. So that's, you know, there's there's some options here that I'm going to explore. But we'll, we'll see what we do. In any case, I was hoping that during the, the shooting of this, the sun would have come back out. But it doesn't seem like it wants to play. On my... Uh, 
guest house, I bought online the uh, air conditioning and decided to just kind of keep it on for a few days just to see, you know, how much it would increase the usage of kilowatts per day. And to give you an idea what that looks like. Right now, this is standard usage, you know, with the main air conditioning for the house on. Uh, that's a HVAC unit, you know, three ton uh, HVAC. And then there's a mini split that's associated with this also for uh, one level. Like I have a mother-in-law suite and that's included in this number also. But just to give you an idea of what the history looks like, I'll go back two days ago. And this, let's make it three. All right, so three days ago, running the uh, the guest house air conditioning, as you can see, increases, you know, high points, you know, so 7.5 kilowatts, you know, simultaneous use at one time. And if I go to history of that and change this to energy over time, you can now, oh, this is today, but let's go back one, two, three days. And this is how the day kind of looks. So even at like midnight, you know, in the hours of, you know, lowest activity, you can see that it's always at 2.6, 2.8. So you're always running a, a pretty heavy load, you know, because of the air conditioning and, and all of that. Look at the kilowatt hour usage per day because of that. I mean, air conditioning is everything when it comes down to living in Florida. <clears throat> so obviously the idea is to use more efficient air conditioning, but the way that many splits work, they're designed to cool down one area, you know, open area, as opposed to the way that our HVAC system works. It's designed to use ducting to provide cooling into individual uh, spaces, which makes more sense when it comes down to a house because you're not, not everybody lives in a studio apartment that you just want to cool the place down. So I need to have the HVAC work in the, the main part of this house anyway, because it's just too cut up for you to, you know, to try to cool it with a mini split. So I have one mini split in one place that works well, but for the rest of the house, you have to use the, uh, you have to use the, uh, the HVAC system. I mean, you know, obviously bathroom doors are going to be closed, things like that, you know, and with closed doors, no air is going to penetrate or no cool air. And then you're going to just have hot spaces. So that's no good. Obviously, I'm looking at uh, changing the HVAC out for a, a geothermal based unit that will run much more efficiently than this one. And uh, that, you know, when that gets installed, we'll revisit this and see how well that that changes but anyway 100 kilowatt hours as you can see that's a lot that was the 14th the 15th 110 the 16th 93 and then today I have it offline because I wanted to see the differences now you can already see that it's almost 2 o'clock p.m. which means we are pretty much, you know, uh, let's say 55, 60% through this day. So you can extrapolate that 36 is probably going to turn out to be somewhere around 60 to 65 kilowatt hours, maybe 70 kilowatt hours usage today. So 30 kilowatt hours uh, less than when the other units or the other mini split is on cooling down the, the guest house. I mean, that's, that's a lot of power, you know, obviously 30 kilowatt hours is, it's a lot. You have to account for it. And if you don't have the storage for, you know, accomplishing, accomplishing, you know, covering that load, then you are going to run into problems. So it would seem that, 
my next best move is going to be to put an individual uh, inverter system in for the guest house. <clears throat> its own solar array. I can even use that one that's already down there that I just basically get the 13 to 14 kilowatt hours out of and hook that up as the source and maybe put on like a you know 30 kilowatt hour battery 25 30 hours that should more than accomplish handling that load independent of what we do here and taking it away from the totals so that's probably something I'm going to move into doing you know going in the near future this is an average load with the air conditioning running in the main house as you can see you know 22 to 2300 watts of this is just that air conditioning the A-track air conditioning running another I guess a thousand is the uh, is the other mini split and then my office takes about maybe 900 watts continuously because I have servers here and you know things like that in the data center so they all require power 24 hours a day you know obviously running a smaller house you can get away with smaller things I have a big house and I have a big property so you have to kind of live with what you have and this is this is a dilemma you can love solar as much as I do but every time you take on another load you have to accommodate for it you have to add more storage you have to add more production and you know it just becomes a cycle that doesn't end and I think that I just heard rain so I guess it's about to rain so the production for the day is probably about to go straight to hell still only getting 400 29 watts on the main, 193 on the secondary, and the third one I can't monitor as I indicated. But, you know, I'll keep monitoring. I'll post an update later. Thanks, guys. Uh, give a like and share if you can. Helps the uh, channel. And I'll talk to you soon.